like this. Alright, Hedgehog 3, this is going to be the final episode. And the let, final no, boom actually, boom episode! Actually, I'm going to do one more before this, which will be Doomsday. Yeah, we go for you. Please don't oh, ruin here. the end of this. It's annoying me so much, so I'm going to kiss you more. Anyway, uh, this is the Death Egg. We finally get to get a proper stage with it, and come on, Death Egg, this is clearly just... Eggman's just a massive star this time. And you think I would be, but no, I... I mean, I, I, I like Star Wars, I guess, but I'm not really a big geek over it. I mean, I know the prequels are really shit, and that's kind of it. Um... I saw something to do with that present free show, I think. Anyway, uh, enough of Star Wars. This level's pretty cool, but this is the most gimmick-centric level in the game, but... It makes sense, it's the death egg. Of course Eggman would fill in the most techno shit ever. Techno fast. Yep. And there's a lot of gravity fuckery going on here. Technically, this does the gravity stuff before Sonic Edge 2 even. But obviously it's not in a 3D game. So... Although it literally says egg. I know it doesn't kind of look like it, but it says egg. Uh, it's because of the cheese, it's starting to look a bit weird. Well, I guess I'm stupid then. No, don't worry. You're awesome. I'm sorry. No, no I really want to show off Hypersonic, but I keep getting hit by rings, so I can't even turn into Hypersonic. Which is pretty fucking funny, honestly. Like, I can't even do the thing I got so much up over with, but... Oh, never mind, I'm literally just about to be able to do it. It's always when you compare you about something, then you can do it. It just works that way. Anyway, Hypersonic, first time showing it off in the Let's Play. The music's stupid, I know. But yeah, Hypersonic. Hypersonic has all of the abilities of the elemental shield, so you can boost forward, you can attract rings, and you can breathe underwater. And you're super fast, and you see this, like, also, this is like, you know the boost? This is kind of the first game to have boost in a way, but yeah, you, this, this the, has the boost, and, um... I fucking forgot what I was going to say now. Um... Um, oh, for fuck's sake, I've literally forgotten, goddammit. Uh, I know, I know one thing is that... Some people say that... that some people say that this game, like, the Hypersonic gives people seizures, because look at him. <sighs> Mark, please kick his ass again. I'll just ask him again, he'll do it again. You know what, I'm just going to ask Woody. Why are you going to do What's the heck am I going to fucking do? No, I mean like into I don't mean kill him. I love that mess though. Sometimes. Oh, come on, Tony. He's really fucking in. Let me go back. No, I don't care. You're going to... Also, this boss... Oh, that to me. I'm so sorry, and don't be such an asshole. It's a rude time, I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'll make a deal with you. I'll say sorry, but I won't talk to you ever again. You're not sure that. Sorry. But you just got a separate place. I'm sorry too for all you put Alright, finally that done. It's done. But yeah, this boss is really annoying if you're not hypersonic, but I'm hypersonic, so... But this boss is pretty cool, though. I like it. I like to think it's like those GLaDOS. Like... I can't think of anything back to the one of them. Basically. You said you were talk about me. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, and we can see the earth. Or well, Mobius, it depends on who fucking cares. But, yeah. Also, I really like the music of the death bag as well.
I really love how this just does look like the space calming off. Which honestly makes me think that Eggman actually based the design off of it. So he did know about it, he must have. What the fuck am I supposed to do? But yeah, uh, I'm actually glad I got to show off uh, Hypersonic. So, final thoughts. Uh, this game... It's not as good as Sonic 2. There's too, it's too gimmicky at times. There's too many zones that go on for too long because of those gimmicks making it fucking irritating at times. But... Yeah, that's kind of it. Like... So, no, I never have, I never have that issue with Sonic 2, really, so, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not as concise. This game has too much filler, which is what I said in an early episode. This I think this game, I would probably like it more than Sonic 2, possibly, if it had just some of the zones cut. I think the game would have been better then. Oh yeah, get used to me having controversial Sonic opinions, I don't even think Sonic Adventure 2 is really that great, but... <laughs> yeah, but... Oh yeah, that's his radio, isn't it? Oh man, that was brutal. But yeah, technically this did the gravity thing before Sonic Adventure 2. This is where it got the idea from anyway. That's kind of the thing. I really like how the adventure games still have the same vibe as the classic games, just brought into 3D. I actually really like that. I just don't really think it was done as well as it could have been, like, at all. I know it's because of limitations of the technology at the time, I'm not aware of that, but... Nowadays, there's no fucking excuse. I actually like Frontiers, um, for being, like, the first Sonic game since Generations to probably not be super finicky and shit, but... Frontiers is not emulating the same style as the classics, that's its own original thing. Oh, I fell down to earth and died. What the fuck am I supposed to do there? I need rings. But yeah guys, this is the second last part of the main Sonic 3 and Knuckles playthrough. I gotta play the game as Knuckles next and do his let's play, then I gotta check out the 2D stuff. Then I'll actually, no, not the 2D, the two-player stuff, then I'll actually be done with the game. But that's it. So Sonic, what did you think of this game afterwards? You pretty much just share the same opinion as me, honestly. Basically. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I think Mania is way better than this game. I think Mania has way better pacing. Like, so honestly, I feel like Sonic 2 is the best Sonic game, then followed by Mania. Mania is pretty close to being the first though as well, but for me it's Sonic 2, then Sonic Mania. Then, possibly Sonic 3, I don't know, it's either Sonic 3, Sonic 1, or Sonic Generations. Also, for just, I know this is kind of weird, but I honestly like Sonic Adventure more than Sonic Adventure 2. That's probably in my top 5 somewhere. But I enjoy all the Sonic games for the most part, so... I've started not really like generations as much as so I'm still. It is. It is. That's kind of. I, 
generations coming from here now and on, but with generations you really have to master how to play it. But when you when you know how to play generations properly, it, it's really fun. Uh, as long as you don't get dick over my stomach. But anyway, this boss is funny because it's actually gravity based. That's kind of the whole point of this zone. But this this level is pretty fucking cool though. Because you well, you can already tell what it is. You gotta manipulate. Well, you gotta time those motherfuckers to fall on that motherfucker. Yeah, great terminology there. I'm really great at describing the things I know things. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. How did I lose my shield? Oh, whatever. I lost my sword and shield. Isn't that Pokemon game? Yeah, I don't know Pokemon. Yeah, I know. I would love to see a game like Portal, but it's inside one of the Eggman's bases. Because Eggman's bases are like that fucking size, I swear. Like, it's honestly, as much as I don't like him as a person for obvious reasons, I'm gonna admit his technology and his shit is fucking amazing. Sonic, I'm never going to. That's the same. He's so much better. Because of past experience and training, you never can. No one can. I don't think I should have. I don't think I should be, like, morally forced to. Yeah, I know. Oh, Rouge, why are you suddenly like that? I'm just using it. It's just, I think you're just being too. Okay, I know I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so for the last minute or so, the thing I was been doing just doesn't work, but now it suddenly is. What happened? No! Fuck you, Tails! He made me lose my fucking ring! Are oh, you fucking two tailed dumbass? Oh, wait a minute. Is it gonna let me get wings back? If not, I'm gonna have to play this dick and ever boss without wings. Which is. Oh, I get it. Uh, that would have been more difficult than the Sonic 1 final boss, which is honestly so sad. Anyway. Look. Final boss time. And look, no rings. No rings. Yeah, guys, no fucking rings. Ooh. You know, I think I might end this episode actually here. Yeah, it's been 30 minutes. Alright, see you next.